The Make-A-Wish Foundation is granting a special teen her dream party, but not just any party. This 15-year-old you're about to meet has always wanted to have a quinceanera. This is the celebration from childhood to womanhood for young Latinas. But for this girl, getting to her 15th birthday was not easy. Anayeli Ruiz joins us now live to explain. Anayeli? Well, the family of Genesee Stamez tells me she was very excited and very happy to celebrate her quinceañera. Her dream was always to wear a big, poofy dress and feel like a princess. And now Make-A-Wish is making that dream a reality. It was a royal treatment for Genesee Stamez's 15th birthday. Her family calling this milestone a miracle. And to celebrate, she had everything from a limo, hair, makeup, and yes, even a custom dress. Quinceañera Genesis Tamez. Seeing getting to this birthday wasn't easy for Genesis. No iba a vivir más que 20 días. Her mom tells us doctors said Genesis wasn't going to live past 20 days. She was born at 25 weeks, weighing one pound. Matter of fact, they told her she should disconnect her because she had died. Her mom says she got on her knees and prayed to God, knowing she had her daughter for a reason. And now, 15 years later, Genesis beat every obstacle she has faced. She had a kidney transplant last year. She had issues with her brittle bones, her lungs, and even her heart. Her sister says Genesis is a fighter. She has been able to overcome them one after the other. So she's a really strong girl. That is why reaching this birthday is much more special to them. Emotional, they say, to see her celebrate one more year. Her family grateful to God she has reached an age doctors said would never happen. A true birthday miracle for them. Now, Make-A-Wish today hosted a photo shoot for her. Well, they will also show those pictures on Saturday for her big quinceañera celebration where they're going to invite friends and family, everything to celebrate her big birthday. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio. She was all smiles today, Saturday. I'm sure it will be the same, if not more. Anayeli, right. thank you. Well, I've been uh, with Make-A-Wish Foundation for eight years already so far so i have four previous girls i i make the dresses for them i'm a designer so and i've been blessed to be able to custom design gowns especially for kids with special needs and that one is uh, something to make me really happy i try to meet the people get involved and i'm blessed when they call me and say hey we do have uh, one little girl for this quinceanera wish so it's just blessing to be able after hundreds of stores in Houston, uh, my designs, my plays be the one to pick for make this kind of um, designs, this kind of wishes come true. It's, uh, it, I have no, no, no words to express that. It's just a blessing. And I feel like this was especially, particularly special because this little girl is so, she's 15, petite. but she's petite. Yes, she is petite. And I worked before for with a girl with a special need. So uh, you never can just get a dress out of the rack and just put them on them because uh, it's not going to be fitting the way it needs to be. Um, and in this particular case, in her dress, uh, I have a previous interview with the mom and with the little girl. I went to take the pictures. And um, the first thing I did, I just talked to her and I see in her. And when I make the design, I try to incorporate everything I see in a particular moment when I went to her house and I talked to her. And uh, that's why I was uh, pointing to the feathers because I think the, the quinceanera is like a, like a feather, it's very fragile. But if you see the stones, they kind of like shine. She's actually very strong, be holding up to 15 years old after one of the story the mom tell me. And um, the third element in the dress is always the flowers. And uh, be able to see this little girl going through so many things and this just became like a flower after. It, that's why I incorporated that one in the dress. And uh, color. It was her dream, and I think uh, nothing better for a quinceanera than bubblegum pink dress. And I, I think I did everything exactly what they was expecting, and I pleased myself as well because I love it. How did you feel when she started tearing up and everyone was crying? Uh, I feel 
I'm like, I feel like so uh, emotional. So it just um, be able to go to the point when someone is not 100% aware of what is going on around her. And then uh, be able to cry when she see herself in the mirror. Uh, be able to have this wish come true finally and feel like, I guess she's feeling so perfect and so amazing at that particular point. And the only way she expressed it was to cry. Uh, for me, it's just like, okay, so well done. I did a great job, I think, because she's happy. And that's all what I was looking for, so. How long did it take you to make the dress? Oh, <laughs> I can be tricky. So I can make a quinceanera dress in two weeks. Oh, I can do it in a week. Uh, this particular dress, we rush, we have a little bit we supposed to have it by the 19th. Uh, and they just called me and said, you know what? We just moved the date for this date. So it take me two days wow. to just get down there. <laughs> wow. But um, such a good job. thank you so much. I, I am so glad they love it. Everybody loved the dress. And uh, and I'm just uh, feel so, I guess, I don't know, happy of what I do, uh, blessed. Uh, and way beyond everything God gave me, uh, be able to give a little bit to the community with my talent and uh, especially with my business, which has been another bless. <laughs> from where I came from, yeah. I am in such a great place and I think God is being amazing and I can do miracles too. Genesis is a 14-year-old. Um, she is a um, kidney transplant patient. Um, this was what qualified her to receive a wish from Make-A-Wish. Um, she, um, uh, like you said, she struggles with her um, illness. However, she's a very brave little girl. When we were talking about her wish, as soon as she learned that she was going to be able to get her wish granted, she was uh, telling us about the dresses and the tiaras and all that. Um, she wants to um, fulfill through this wish. So even through her sickness and even through all the struggles that she has been able to face, she's still a very courageous girl that we can all learn so much from. So has she received her kidney transplant? Yes, she has. And so she's also had other medical complications, right? Correct, yes. Um, she also has a, a trach, so she needs that as well. So again, she, she's a com medically complex little girl. Um, let's talk about what uh, what it means for you guys to be able to do this for a little girl, especially I feel like a lot of people don't really understand what it means to have a quinceañera. What does it mean for Yes, a yes, absolutely. So a quinceañera, it's a very special occasion. It's when you're becoming a woman, right? So that's what we celebrate for, uh, for a quinceañera. So it's um, a time to gather with friends, a time to gather with families. But these are big parties, big, huge parties. So it all starts with the dress and the shoes and the tiara and the jewelry and also a venue and flowers it's kind of planning like a wedding uh, but for your 15 años so um, when we learned that this was going to be her wish we were like excited because we knew that we had to bring the community together to help us bring this wish to life so that's what's very special about Genesis wishing for a quinceañera because it truly gives us an opportunity to involve the community and to make it even more special for her. Um, for example, one of our sponsors, Ascend, I learned this morning that um, one of their employees is make, making the cake for her. So that's the beauty of Make-A-Wish and what we do is that through these stories and bringing awareness and sharing what these kiddos go through, people can relate, they want to help, they want to do something special and without them it just we couldn't bring this magic to life and one of the things um i feel like you know you just said it that he's saying it's kind of like a rite of passage you're turning into a woman but i'm pretty sure for this family it was a scary situation with their health not knowing if their daughter would even make it to that exactly so just being able to hit another milestone right it's um a moment to to reflect and what they've been through, the journey that they've gone through, and having this opportunity to celebrate as a family and bring friends together, and being able to be just enjoying the moment and celebrate Genesis life. So yes, absolutely, this is a very joyful moment, not only for us, make a wish, because we're getting, we get to grant her wish, but also for her family, for being able to make this day happen for her.